on a bench test uh, the uh, Raymarine Quantum Radar. Okay, this is a wireless uh, version, but I uh, also got um, some uh, wired cables to Raynet cable to connect to the back of the um, Axiom uh, multi uh, function. Radar. Um, this is the back of the quantum radar, and that's the front. Um, I'm going to try to connect everything and bench test this radar now. Before we start testing, we want to connect the power to the um, to the uh, Axiom to the uh, Axiom uh, multifunction display, and this is the arrow pointing. So insert it in and push this uh, collar and um, rotate clockwise to lock it down so that the power line will not uh, be pulled out and then um, so that's the uh, axiom uh, multifunction display and uh, here is my this is the Raynet um, cable I think it's going to the back of uh, this is the micro USB port and this is the yeah this is the port for the Raynet um, I'm gonna try to connect wireless instead of using the wire and uh, I'm gonna see what happened here but um, let's see the installation process um, whether I should uh, power up the radar first or the the uh, axiom uh, first. Here we go. Making connections. Making connections. Okay. Power supply is switched off, and multifunction display being connected to the scanner has been installed in accordance with the installation instructions. Power connector locking collar on the scanner is in the unlock position. Route the power cable within the scanner. Ensure power cable is oriented so that, that so the notch lines up with the guide in the connector. Push the power cable connector all the way into the scanner power connector. Rotate the locking collar clockwise. Push the data if you're using. Okay, whatever. Okay. So as you can see here, this is the, the right hand side is the power cable, the left hand side is the Raynet cable. As you can see here, Raynet, and this is the power cable, 12 volts to 24 volts, which is this guy here. This guy here. This is the Raynet on the left, on the right is my um, quantum. Uh, cable power and I connected a uh, two white clips um, so this way I can quickly connect the quantum radar let me do that so now the power quantum radar is uh, on and let me connect my axiom uh, multi display function and I can connect it here and here and now the multi uh, function display is on and slide to the right power on the Raymarine Quantum with Wi-Fi only. Let's see how the Wi-Fi is going to work. Power cable, no uh, 
Ray neck cable. Okay. And then, uh, what does it say? Just say okay. Connect the radar. Um, okay. Right now it's saying quantum ray dome connecting to radar, but I think I need to go back and go to the settings, go to this display, and go to the radar. Where is it? Where's my radar? Here was quantum. I need to put in the quantum here, which is 118029. Come on, one one eight zero two nine nine eight. Save, and then I want to put in the quantum password, which is this guy here. It's zero eight seven nine e forty seven c zero nine zero a seven nine e zero a seven nine e forty seven c zero. A seventy nine E seventy let me seventy nine E then forty seven C forty seven C and save that and connect. So now I just entered and I want to connect the uh, quantum radar to my multi-function display okay so hopefully this is gonna work because this is power on already um, what's this power cable here what's this power cable here say it's, it's gonna um, take a few minutes to have the two connected uh, you know so we're gonna come back and yeah you can see this uh, thing is moving for a second it stopped moving I thought it's connected but uh, it uh, starts to move again so it's connecting to quantum radar as we speak 11A0298 You know, gotta bench test this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna touch here and say okay. I'm gonna get out of here with a uh, radar here. And then, uh,